G.I. Joe started out in 1964. The creator of G.I. Joe was inspired by an artist mannequin he saw in a window. And he thought, hey, put some clothes on that, add a head, and we've got a product. So G.I. Joe was born. Only movable action figures with a scar under the right cheek and a backwards thumbnail are actually G.I. Joe's. Otherwise, it's G.I. useless. The original G.I. Joe's, such as the Navy version G.I. Joe, complete with traditional uniform, would be quite valuable if only someone hadn't ripped the leg off. Oops. G.I. Joe experienced great change in the 60s. His gun was confiscated, but in exchange, they gave him a righteous beard. The new adventure-themed G.I. Joes were given more adventure-oriented tasks, such as defeating a mountain lion or wrestling a crocodile. This was a reaction to the Vietnam protests. Huh? Oh my god. <gasps> Tell them I died bravely. Put simply, G.I. Joe changed because war changed, and nobody wanted to play with post-traumatic syndrome G.I. Joe.